Here's an email from Lara. We live in a two-story house that has a laundry room on the second floor. Our dryer vent is located on the roof of our garage and is extremely difficult to clean out. We have nine people in our family and it gets clogged about four times a year. Now we're not getting any younger to get up on that roof. Do you have any suggestions on how to fix this? Okay, so I'm trying to picture this one, Lara. I bet that the wall that the dryer's on backs up to the roof of the garage and it vents out and up. So my guess is we need to reroute that thing and we need to go down into the garage and then out the back wall. But in doing so, it's probably gonna be too far. You know, the maximum distance for a dryer is about 20 feet before you put in a booster fan. But if you do this and you take the time to invest in it, then all you gotta do is get up on a little step ladder out the back door of the garage to clean this vent out four times a year and keep you off of that roof. Here's an email from Jim. What are alternatives to using backer board underneath ceramic tile in bathroom floors and walls? Well, there are plenty of alternatives, but many of them don't work long term. I mean, you know, backer boards, and there's a lot of different manufacturers of them, really offer a quick option to be able to give you a strong base that if things get wet, won't release the tile once it's connected to it. Now in the walls, I definitely would recommend that you use some type of moisture proof backer board. Now on the floor, you can use a very thin backer board or some tile setters like to use chicken wire and thin set mortar to almost use uh, kind of a thinner mud set floor, which was done back in the 40s and 50s. It works out pretty well, but you really need to know what you're doing to get it installed correctly. So a thin backer board makes quicker work of it and gives you a tile job that will last. Here's an email from Eduardo. I have a side-by-side -side refrigerator, and when I open the refrigerator door, the freezer door loses its grip. Eduardo, the same thing happened to us with our side-by-side. -side. Actually, for us, when you close the fridge, the freezer door opened, and then the freezer, you wouldn't know that it was open, it would start to frost over. I bet that's happening to you as well. So what I did is I got the model number and the serial number off of that fridge and bought new weather stripping to go around, actually both doors. You see, that's magnetic. And over time, it can lose a little bit of its juice to grab onto the actual body of the fridge and freezer. It literally just pulls out, you put the new one in, problem solved. It'll probably cost you less than $40 to fix.